What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I wanted to show you guys the Brave search engine. Now you guys know that I'm always trying to push applications that focus on protecting yourself online. Well, there's a new search engine that I think has the potential to compete with Google, but also protect its users' privacy. And what I'm talking about is the Brave search engine. And I really think you guys should check this out. Now, I know most of you have already seen creators talk about this search engine, but I want to at least give my take on it and try to promote it as much as possible if I can. Now, let's head over to Brave.com so we can check it out. So boom, we are at brave.com and I just wanted to show you guys uh, how to actually get to it. You can go to brave.com and then click right here where it says brave search. That is the search engine. It'll basically take you to it. It's basically search.brave.com. But before I click on it, I just wanted to say this is one of the best browsers out there. In my opinion, you can also make uh, cryptocurrency from this browser. And I know cryptocurrency just kind of took a big dip recently but i'm confident that it'll recover so just use your best judgment and hold on to your coins if you think so but let's click on the brave search right fast so let's click on it and this will give us a little bit of information about it actually what happened was they had a private beta uh that they were testing you, you know it was only private or certain people that can actually test the search engine well now they have it open up to the public so anybody can actually start searching using the brave search engine now and this link will take you right to it and like i said it's search.brave.com but i just wanted to read a little bit more it says private search that puts you first not big tech and that's one of the major selling points for me you know what i'm saying uh google tracks you uh, Bing tracks you all these different search engines when you're using them they're actually tracking you uh, especially if you have account with them it ties that to what they call an advertisement ID and that's what they use to push ads they also sell your information to advertisement companies and that's how a lot of information is disseminated nowadays or taken from you is online while you're using these different search engines and different applications that track everything that you do but the brave search engine like it says doesn't track you or your queries so anytime you query something it will not track you and it says private independent and transparent brave search is the real alternative to google and it says on mobile desktop and anywhere the web takes you search private search with confidence and i'm super excited that they're finally releasing this thing because i've been using DuckDuckGo and i like DuckDuckGo. it's okay uh i just know that they pull their search results from another source i'm not 100 percent sure what search engine they actually that's actually behind it where they index everything from but I've actually been, you know, looking for something better, in my opinion. And it looks like this will be that alternative. Now, let's scroll down a little further. I want to read a little more. It says, search without a trace. Brave searches doesn't track you. Your searches or your clicks is impossible for us to share, sell, or lose your data. Because we don't collect it in the first place. Which is, you know, dope right there. And then it says, private search, that's user first. And they're basically going at the tech giant Google here saying google tracks everything you do sells your data to advertisers and leaves you vulnerable to hackers brave serves the user first not big tech it's your data your choice which i definitely agree with and let's see scroll down here now this is one cool thing about this actual search engine it says independent search so therefore the way the way Google and all these different search engines, the way they come up with these results, they have crawlers that run across the web and basically index all the websites that are out there that it can find. And they use that and query the, those indexes to give you the results. Well, one thing about Brave Search is they it's all independent. They have their own, I'm assuming, crawlers that crawl the web and their data is not coming from another source kind of like DuckDuckGo. they have their own 
independent indexes. Now, I'm going to just read it right fast. It says, even supposedly neutral or private search engines rely on big tech for results. Brave is different. We deliver results based on our own built from scratch index. We're beholden to no one. So that's super cool that that's included as well. That they're not relying on any of these tech giants that already have like indexes out there. They are building their own. And I believe they're using the users that are actually searching it to verify the search results as well. And I'll talk about that a little later. I, I think I've seen that in an article. I'm not 100% sure if it's going to be on here, but we'll find out right fast. But it says real transparency, brave search doesn't use secret methods or algorithms to bias or censor results. Now, this is another thing that's important to me, because if you guys didn't know, when you search something on Google, it's all tied to you. They modify the search results based on your search history and based on your emails that it reads and all that. They, they kind of push ads based on that, as well as manipulate the search results a little bit, which kind of clouds the results. And it takes longer to actually find what you're looking for because the ads take priority over the actual results that you're trying to trying to find. But Brave, you know, totally different. It actually puts those results up there. It's unbiased. It's just based on the keyword that you're searching. So therefore you should find what you're looking for faster by using the search engine as well. And it also says we rely on anonymous community contributions to refine results. So that's that's what I was talking about, how they, they use some data, but it's anonymous uh, to refine the results based on what comes up and community created alternative ranking models to ensure diversity. So super cool. They really took into account a lot of the, the issues that we see with a lot of these big tech search engines. Um, so it's definitely good to see that, but it also says comprehensive privacy. Brave offers best in class integration between private search and privacy browser. This means all in one protection online, both during and after you search. So yeah, you have that option there. And if we look down here, it'll kind of show you a comparison of these three, you know, search engines. You got your tech giant Google, you got DuckDuckGo, which I'm currently using. But right here it says uh fully private anonymous search, check mark, you know what I'm saying, integrated with a privacy browser on desktop and mobile got a check mark there uh, transparent in how search results are ranked and a check right there and uses independent search engines you know Google does use independent search engines because they have their own but now brave does as well which is so much of more of a benefit than what brave DuckDuckGo provides at currently Ah, and there we go right there. This is what I was talking about. I wasn't sure uh, where they got their indexes from, their search indexes from, but it says DuckDuckGo is dependent on the Bing search index for its search results. So that's based on Microsoft. So <laughs> that's crazy right there. But that's all I wanted to read there. Uh, let's go back up to the top and actually show you the search engine. So let's click search now. Boom, and that'll take us to search.brave.com. And I only did it that way just to make it easy. You can go to brave.com, click on those links, or you could type it in directly, which I'm gonna drop the link in the description of the video. And as you can see, it's kind of clean. I really like it, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Google, you know, it's clean as well. I like the way Google's looks, but the big difference is once we actually go to the search results, that's where the difference will pop up. Now, before I do that, uh, I wanted to click up here and just show you some of the settings in search browser uh, or in the search engine. Uh, it's similar to Google. You know what I'm saying? They have, you know, options that you could change. Well, in here, you know, they have some options as well or settings, you know, for your search or whatever. Now they have appearance uh, and you could change it to the dark theme of which I really like. You know, I like uh, dark themes for pretty much everything, uh, but I'll leave it on the light theme just so you guys can actually see in the video. 
but then you got language settings which are, is coming soon uh, you can set it as the default search engine or the search provider and then you can open links in new tabs which I sometimes turn on and then it says percentage of search results from brave index and that says 87 percent so that gives you just some percentages of the search results from the brave index now let me go down and close you that close that because there are some other options and other features that I want to show you guys once we actually search and what I'm gonna do is just search um, keep it techie.com or keep it techie just to see what's going on or what pops up for keep it techie <laughs> so this is super cool you know it brings up all my different social media links and all that stuff and it's very short you know what i'm saying it, it pretty much brings up everything so no problems there you know it brings up my youtube channel my website my twitter facebook groups uh instagram and that's super cool it's it's not flooded with a whole bunch of ads because at the end of the day if you search google nine times out of ten the actual search results will start once you scroll down the page a little bit you'll see the search results uh pop up well it's right at the top you know what i'm saying and then you got all your other options right here like you know united states uh moderate you know anytime and this thing may look a little different depending on what browser you are using right here i'm using the chrome browser or chromium browser and it looked a little different from when i pulled this up using the brave browser which is what i use but i typically use chrome just to record videos now here's some options right here now uh the, the location port uh which i thought was super cool a lot of times these search engines like google definitely when you go to the search search engine and search for something specific it'll pull up based on your location it, you'll see it have your location there it'll say you know like i'm in las vegas it'll bring up las vegas nevada not united states so this thing starts off you know as united states which is you know cool you can search based on the country uh you know and you can also you know select whatever you want and you can put all regions if you wanted to uh but my default i'll just leave it as united states which is fine but you're lumped in with everybody in the united states so that lets you know it's not broken out by your location now based on what i've seen you can filter it down by the location but it will just use the city which is fine but you have to physically go in and change that now this is just like in google you know you could change safe search uh strict or off uh and then the time you know this is just that custom time range or you know you can search for news articles that happened within the last couple of days super cool and then they have the all the options there for let's say you want to look for images you know it pulls up strictly images and then news you could pull up any news articles which i'm i know i'm not in the news in any way <laughs> anyway and then videos you know what i'm saying it'll pull up all your search results that are based on videos so super cool super dope uh and it looks pretty clean you know it's not all crazy with the ads everywhere and all that stuff so super cool and then it opens up some more options right here as well or some more uh filters so to speak you can do any dur duration uh any resolution so you can even you know filter it out by resolution so let's say you only want to look for 1080p videos then that's super cool that that's there so that's pretty much all i wanted to show you guys please check out this search engine i think it's very important for people to care about your online privacy and try to protect yourself as much as possible and this search engine will definitely handle some of that for you by being a little bit more anonymous online so definitely check it out so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions leave comments down in the comment boxes below and of course Keep it techie.